I'm Jeffrey Anderson, joined here by Green Bay Gamblers head coach and general manager Pat Nickish. Pat, great win this weekend. What stood out to you in that game, which really put your team over the top? Well, I thought it was our consistent defense. I mean, like we just defended hard all night long. Our details were locked in. And then obviously Aaron had to make some big stops. And I, I thought Homer played really well in that for them as well. And then speaking of Aaron, he was announced as USHL's goalie of the week. What made his game so great Friday night? Well, he was locked in. I mean, he made some big stops early and then, and he kind of made the game look easy as the night went on. There wasn't a lot of second chance opportunities. He controlled his rebounds and, and kind of just settled in. And, you know, whenever your goaltender's playing that way, I think it just makes the team that much more comfortable in front of them. And with how great you guys played in that game, what are maybe some things you're looking to improve upon going forward that you could find? Well, I thought we played a three-period game for probably the first time, and uh, there wasn't any letdown. Our, our commitment without the puck was locked in, and, and it just showed that we can be that 60-minute team and, and then extend it into overtime when needed. So it was a great uh, all-around effort, and you know we looked to build off of that with our entire group. And then after that emotional win in overtime, what's key to coming in next practice and finding focus for your next opponent? Well, it's, it's fun to build off of, you know, that type of energy. You know, the crowd was into it. It was something that our guys got to live through and, and reap the benefits of a, of a great win at home. And so it's exciting to know we're going to have another game here on Saturday back here. But first things first, we have to go to Madison and play against a team that's played extremely well. So then playing against that Madison team, as you said, Friday and Saturday, currently have the least number of goals allowed in the Eastern Conference. What do you think is key in breaking the lid open offensively? Well, I think live by our principles. I mean, then when we're playing well, I mean, we're going to be a tough opponent for everybody. But, you know, we have to respect what Madison is doing right now. And it's, it's a fast-paced physical game. And if we uh, aren't ready to pr pr uh, play on Friday night, you know, it's going to be in their building. I'm sure they're looking to get a fr fr uh, fast start against us. And then lastly, with Halloween coming to the Rush Center for your game Saturday, can you remember back to maybe a favorite Halloween costume that you would have worn? as a kid. I, I can promise you I've never trick-or-treated in my entire life. <laughs> really? that, that's not a lie, but I have enjoyed the candy in the past. So Perfect. Well, Pat, thank you so much for your time. No and problem. speaking of Halloween, the Gamblers will return to the Rest Center Saturday, October 30th for a Hockey Halloween and Family Day. Puck drop is at 3.05 p.m. and you can get your tickets at gamblershockey.com.